So for this video, I'm going to be covering skiing primarily. I've made quite a, I've made a few improvements that have made a dramatic improvement in skiing. It's at the point where I call this production ready. I have yet to hit dead stops. That's why I'm calling it production ready. So I'm going to start off here on the landscape map. I'm going to do kind of a run that was unthinkable before. I'm going to follow this ravine kind of thing that's going on. And this map is pretty. It's going to be in the next tech demo for sure. And I'm also, I have plans to keep it in tech demos for a little bit at least. Just because I want to, I want to do King of the Hill for this. I think this would be a great King of the Hill map. Yee! It's a great thing that there's no falling damage. But yeah, you can see how rough this ravine, the geometry is. I'm going to see if I can go down the slot. Here we go. This is some rough, rough stuff. So it's not really meant for skiing. You can tell, obviously, it's just visual, but... The, that kind of geometry before, rather than bouncing back and forth in it, I'd be stopping, 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 stopping. So it's it's a it's a much improved system. And I'm just going to ski around on this a little bit. I mean, there are such nice views on this map. One of the fun things on this map as well is the trees. It's been... It, honestly, it reminds me of a Halo 1 PC map, actually. There was a uh, map that had a bunch of trees, but it reminds me of that because skiing through trees at high speed, you'd uh, drive around the warthog in trees at high speed and you wouldn't see any people until you drove right up on them. And I'm imagining if there was a forest map, you could probably get the same thing in freefall. Wee! Oh yeah, I suppose I could cover some other updates as well. Something that you're not noticing, that people were noticing before, is... Now, during skiing, there's no walking sound or walking animation. And it, that's just kind of one of those improvements that it was annoying to hear. And jump has also been updated to act accordingly. Jump before would, when you press to jump, it would cancel all of your Z velocity, your up and down velocity. And then it would set it to be whatever the jump velocity was supposed to be. Jump now, it just adds to your velocity. And it also has some conditional behavior. If you are going down a slope, again, like with gravity down something, you'll jump off the slope surface. So you jump off its normal for anybody who is familiar with the, that term. And if you are sliding up the slope, you're going to jump with gravity. This is useful. It's kind of an old trick that I know that the old tribes games used along with I'm pretty sure legions used it as well. But you know, like this slope that I'm going to encounter here, when I jump off of it, I'm going to be jumping against gravity. So now that's probably enough of this map. I'm going to load up. I made up a little map just to kind of show what is possible now with the new skiing system. It's, I mean, it's not totally what's possible, obviously. But it was another one of those things that before... The skiing system just would not allow at all. And it was kind of sad to me because I wanted this. So yeah, you can see this map's made. It's pretty much comprised of these kind of capsule shapes. And they're... I ha had a programmer friend of mine put it nicely. They are the nightmare of somebody who's running collision code. Which is true. But it actually, it's quite amazing. This is the first time I've run around in a game engine where you can support this level of physics reliability. So it's kind of a testament to where technology has gotten with game engines. Because this is one of those things that's not, not easy to do. Alright. So this is another interesting area here. Shows again the how robust the new skiing movement system is. That I'm just kind of bouncing around in this tube but I'm going to go fly around in this tube, too. I actually think these are will be interesting as well for mappers working on things that are more tribes-like. I remember oftentimes getting it through towers and such on tribes maps. It was quite... It, it could be quite interesting to have it set up where you that did what I just did there. You kind of bounce, 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 because it actually is It's quite hard to get back in the back up the tube just because there are these hang-ups and because you're always sliding off the walls you kind of are always on the walls but 
anyhow, this is just demonstrating that we can now do half pipes and stuff. But yeah, that's really it for this video. There will be a tech demo out soon just because the skiing is now in a good state. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, you can, of course, post them in the video comments or on the game forums. And I've said in the previous videos that I hang out on uh, our Arena FPS and FPS Z. You can find me on Twitter at, at Cicade. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching.